Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Steelbook opening. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Monsterverse collection, Steelbook set. So let's get into it. Okay, first of all, um, it did get posted in quite a decent box. Um, it's fair enough um, you know it's, it's quite a sturdy thick box um, which I was very happy about um, so yes the set itself is like this um, I do like these films um, all four of them less so the first one but I do enjoy these three more um, although that's an okay film, just Godzilla's hardly in it. Um, and you want a Godzilla film, um, and the human stuff is all crap. But, you know, these are fun popcorn movies. Um, it's a lovely set, a lovely still book outer. So, I'm going to adjust the camera, we're going to take a look. So, yes, so the Monsterverse still book set. So, here we have it. Um bit big to do like this isn't it so I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna put the camera back up. okay so adjusting the camera to have a look at this doesn't really work at this stage it will with the interior still books but I'm gonna open it up have a look at it like this so let me get the plastic off and as you can see it does have this um, sort of box J card type of thing, um, which is glued to the underside, which I'll take off. So, yes, it sort of sits in it like so, as you can see. Um, there's the back. And this is the J card, obviously. So anyway, so I do have the the boxes like this for um, the, the two Lord of the Rings trilogies that, that came out a year ago. Um, I managed to get The Hobbit for free. Yes. Um, it, 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 became, it went undelivered, shall we say, and another one was dispatched. Then the second one was dispatched. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up with two. I sold one for far more than what it was worth. So I really did get one. And that was the Hobbit I got for free. Um, so fantastic. Um, love it when mistakes like that happen. Um, good old Royal Mail. Um, anyway, so there's the top of the, the box. There's the underside. Um, on this side here, um, within what's meant to be the M, like so, for Monsterverse, which actually looks like a Black Widow sort of, turn around Black Widow logo. Um, uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind is um, Kong himself. Um, like I said, go to the back and you've got Kong and Godzilla together with some sort of scratch marks there, which are sort of reflective, as you can see. Um, so very nice. A sort of reflective spot glossing. Um, and obviously that's sort of spot glossing as well. Um, so go around to the other side and we're given Godzilla himself, um, King of the Monsters. Yes, so lovely, lovely steel book, um, steel box, sorry. And obviously there's a foam inlay that, that protects each and every of the steel books from one another, rubbing against one another. Um, obviously Mad Maxes are coming out like this. Um, it's been delayed, obviously, for the issues with, with the sound on some of the discs. Um, but... I do have it on pre-order, um, but I'm in two minds because I like them, but I like the artwork on the the Amorays a little bit more. Um, so I'm not sure which way to go, but these are lovely sets. So let me adjust the camera now and we can have a look at each individual um, still book. Okay, so obviously we'll go in order of release. So first up is the still book for Godzilla. Um, now, I know in the images these look white in, in the photos, but it's not. It's actually a silver 
background, not a white background, um, with Godzilla spot glossed on it, with the title, helicopter there, and soldiers there. Um, so it actually looks better in, in real life, so to speak, in the flesh, than what it does in the images shown. Um, there's the side, and there's the back. Um, obviously, these here are not scratches, they're part of the art design of, of the still book. So we open it up, and that's what we're given as your front and the back of the still book, um, and, and very nice with the MonsterVerse logo there. Now, interior, um, obviously there's your 4K disc, like so, Godzilla on it, and there's your Blu-ray, and you have that as your interior art um obviously godzilla himself um so it's a very nice very nice um still book so moving on we now come to kong skull island and again there we have the art more of a greeny hue to it whereas the last was red um king kong title Kong himself, um, person stood on top of a giant skull, you know, in the design, helicopters. So much like the first in that sense, with a green spine. And on the back, we have that image there. So again, a very nice, um, very nice design with a lovely um, green colour to it, the striking. And almost like a minty colour with the silver pattern in, silver background, sorry, and uh, not white. White would have been horrendous. Um, much like New Matrix still books that have been advertised. So, disc one, the 4K disc is like that with the Kong handprint on it, and the Blu-ray is just standard blue, and the interior art is that lovely image of Kong himself. So, Again, another lovely still book. Um, very nice, very happy with it. So, next up is um, the second Godzilla movie, King of the Monsters, which I don't mind. I actually really enjoy this film. Um, obviously, this one, again, is a silver with a title, with Godzilla, all in a sort of orangey hue. Um, you got the heli well, they're not the helicopters, they're the bi twin plane helicopter type things again with a soldier. So, all the designs match, they've all been thought about, they've all been given uh, the same sort of imagery. Um, open it up, and there's your back with um, is it Ghidorah, the three headed um, dragon? I may have the name wrong, if I do, let me know. Um, and for interior shot, we have this. So, Godzilla King of the Monsters, um, 4K and Blu-ray discs. And your interior art is battle between the two primary um, protagonist and antagonist within the film. Um, so again, another lovely still book. Um, and last but not least, the latest of the... Um, Godzilla movies, King Kong movies, and MonsterVerse movies, being Godzilla vs Kong, which obviously had a pandemic release. Um, again, title, Godzilla going up against Kong there. Um, city, little person there, it's very similar, no helicopters on this one, but again, the silver background, not white. Um, there's your spine, and your back art, is like so with Godzilla fighting Kong. Um, yes, very enjoyable popcorn movies. Um, open it up, there's your um, 4K disc, and this is your Blu ray, and there's your interior image of Kong fighting Godzilla. Um, so, yeah, they're very, very nice looking still books um you know there's godzilla kong next to godzilla king of the monsters 
with the backs, like so. And again, I'll just show you side by side of the first two, being Godzilla and it'll come out Kong Skull Island, like so. So I know some people complained about these steel books. I didn't particularly like them, but I'll be honest, in the flesh, they are very, very nice. Um, I'm glad they're not white and that they are silver. Um, like the Indiana Jones done with white. But yeah, so very, very nice. So yeah, so obviously, you know, I'm very pleased to have that in my set. I love the colours, I love the designs. It's a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, again, this box is silver and not white. Um, which makes all the difference, it really does. Um, you know, it's just beautiful. It's, you know, um, like I said, you got a sort of bit of damage, sort of, not, it ain't damage, it's sort of, it's sort of part of the artwork there to make it look a bit sort of frayed in the, you know, in there as well. Um, this set has been thought about, the, the artwork has been thought about. Um, very, very nice, and, and I'm, I'm very pleased, it's part of my collection. Um, I love these films, um, they're very enjoyable. I love Godzilla as a character. I love that sort of, you know, the, the kaiju, sort of Japanese earlier films. Um, you know, I've got no issue with the 1988 Godzilla film. Um, it's not really Godzilla, um, but I can sit down and I can enjoy the film as a monster movie, you know, rampaging monster movie. Um, it, it, very, very good. So anyway, so this is AJ. Thank you for watching. If you like that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and supporting the channel because I've got a lot more of this sort of content to come and historically as well. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care all and have a very Merry Christmas. Goodbye all.